now, live from Hong Kong, it's the Gold Thread Show. With today's host, Victoria, and guest hosts, pretty much everybody else. And back again for another adventure, the GT Street Eaters. And so much more. You're watching The Gold Thread Show. Hi everyone, we're back and we've got a great show for you today. We're here live from our studio in Hong Kong as always. Uh, but I can't spend too much in time introducing the show because we've got a packed lineup today. On the food front, we're going to try the new McNugget dipping sauces from McDonald's. And later, we're also going to do a blind taste test of some street food skewers from a famous market in Hong Kong. We're also going to preview a brand new series that's coming called What's It Like? where we take you through the life of an interesting person in China, one individual at a time. But first, let's start with questions you've asked. I have Clarissa here with me. She produced two of our recent videos in the past week. Mara A asked, where can I find Yixing teapot in the US? And by the way, if you didn't already know, we just gave away three sets of teapots to people who had the most likes on their comments on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Specifically, that was Will C on YouTube, Pat Mitchell on Facebook, and Cindy Perez on Instagram. So for everybody else, they need to know where to get these teapots because they can't get it from us. Okay, so I found two websites that are rather reputable. Um, one is The Essence of Tea, and the other one is Yunnan Sourcing. But my rule of thumb is to just find a vendor or an online person or someone even in real life that can tell you exactly where that teapot came from mm -hmm. um, and tell you a little bit about who made it. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a bit of an ask, right? It is. <laughs> I mean, I have never really bought, I never really bought one until I went to Yixing, so I'm a bit picky. Um, but those two websites are pretty reputable, so we'll put it in the links below okay. later. Cool. Uh, the next question is from Jennifer Jasmine, who asked, in a world that's becoming increasingly polluted and running on finite resources, why would you not want LEDs that are safer, cheaper, more sustainable for environment and pretty much look the same. Um, I completely agree, but I do think there is value in preserving the art that is neon. Um, LEDs are mass produced, um, but with neon, they require a certain uh, craft. They're made one by one. So I think there is um, value in preserving the craft, um, but there is also value. Um, I mean, she does have a point in that we should be using more sustainable sources for our lighting in the cities, um, but Again, preserving this craft is very important. Cool. Um, and we have a neon light to give away with our story, actually. Is this going to... It's not going <laughs> to... Come on, it's neon. It's not neon. It's, the, it's LED. <laughs> oh, the irony. The irony. <laughs> um, here it is. We're going to give away a neon light uh, just, just the same way. Well, we're giving one away per platform, so we're giving three away. Uh, same rules apply. Most like comments on the neon sign video by the end of Wednesday will win. This is a G this is a GT2. If in case you guys didn't get it, uh, as always, we're about to show you a preview of Friday's fresh new video. This is a part of a new series that we're launching called "What's It Like." We hope the series will inspire people to consider how it feels like to be different. What's it like to be a single mom in China? What about? a plus-size model, or a food delivery man. What's it like to go zero waste? I'm your host, Venus. Join me as I take you inside the everyday lives of people on this side of the world. And magically, <laughs> Clarissa has turned into Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about yeah. what's hot this week. That's what into a boy. Gavin's here for us. Yes. I'm a boy now. Okay. Gavin, what did you do this weekend? Uh, so I, I went to see Toy Story 4 because it actually came out like much later in Hong Kong than it did in the US. Mm -hmm. um, but then the funny thing is when I bought the ticket, I didn't realize that it would be dubbed in Cantonese. <laughs> of course, that happens. <laughs> right, of course that happens here. Because there's some reason the theater didn't specify whether it, it would be English or Cantonese. So I just bought the ticket and then I was so surprised when like I went in and suddenly Woody didn't sound like Tom Hanks. It was like this like really lower pitched like Cantonese speaking dude. <laughs> and instead of Key and Peel, mm. I got Tong and Hong. Tong and Hong? Yeah, apparently those are the two actors who are playing like the two stuffed animals. 
I was like <laughs> so annoyed, so disappointed. Actually, this reminds. So speaking of the bait and switch, um, Hong Kong has done you another bait and switch this week. Oh yeah. Um, so <laughs> last week, uh, well, as was it this week? Oh, anyway, I went to McDonald's basically. Basically, and, um, and ordered. I ordered 18 chicken nuggets um, because I hate myself. <laughs> And uh, when I did placed the order, they gave me options to get four sauces. Mm -hmm. There's like a new thing now where you can get a combo of four sauces. And I thought, great, I'm going to get like barbecue and honey mustard and sweet ketchup and, sour? and like sweet and sour. sour. Mm -hmm. um, but then when I got it, it was actually like salted egg yolk. That doesn't sound too bad. Red bean curd and oh. lemon aioli and honey mustard. Mm -hmm. And so I was really surprised that it was like these like four sauces that were like adapted for the market here. And I actually brought some for you to try. <laughs> Thanks, Hailey. Oh, you're not going to put it on my hand. You know. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. And there's a fifth. Oh, yeah. There's, there's also hot mustard. Hot mustard, yeah. In case, <laughs> in case, in case the honey mustard is not spicy. hot enough. Yeah. All Yay. right. So, I don't know if you guys can see this. This looks, well, this looks, uh, this looks. Yeah, it's red bean curd roast chicken. Red <laughs> bean curd roast chicken flavored sauce. Red bean curd roast chicken flavored sauce. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Here we are. And um, then salted egg salted yolk. Salted egg yolk. Which is like a super popular flavor um, all throughout Asia right now. Because sure. it's like it's known for being like the middle of a mooncake. Oh, right, 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 right. right. Oh, um, that, and then this is like the curd. more like Western options, I guess. Western. Honey mustard. Honey mustard being a, a safe bet. And uh, lemon aioli. I actually really like this one. Lemon aioli? Yeah. That sounds good. Uh, yeah. And hot mustard, which gets to join <laughs> a little bit. Okay, oh God, I'm let's so try this. I'm excited to have you try uh, this. I am excited to try the egg yolk. <laughs> I dare you, you to try this you one, actually. This one was, like, right. incredibly um, salty. Salty? Yeah. Actually, red bean curd uh, sauce is... I can't imagine it being very... Yeah, I don't know. Mommy, oh. I wasn't really into it. Oh. And it also, like, looks really artificial. Like, it looks like <laughs> someone painted the sauce red. It's very pretty, actually. Like, wh what? Really? I mean, as in, like, not, no. not as food. <laughs> it looks not like someone food. just, like, not a kindergartner food, just, like, like, threw her finger paint onto, like, a <laughs> tray of sauce. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's, it's quite dense. It's really? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. you know? It's, it's That's quite... like something out of Teletubbies. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah, can you imagine me alone in my room eating this at midnight by <laughs> myself? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like sorry. realizing that this like tasted really I'm bad. sorry work is so <laughs> painful for you. <laughs> I don't know. I, I could get used to it. Kind of. I mean I yeah. probably wouldn't eat it again, but we'll probably just stick with the egg yolk. Mm-hmm. Here's mm -hmm. this is where it's at. Yeah. What? It's you're you're not using <laughs> Mm. You're not liking it. <laughs> I, I think I need to explain red bean curd. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, yeah, you do have to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, actually, Clarissa, can you explain red bean curd? <laughs> what do you mean red bean curd? What's red bean curd? What do you mean? Like, what's red bean curd flavor? Ch roast chicken. You have to come in. Sorry, this was this oh. is entirely unscripted. Red bean curd, that's like a fermented red yeast. Ah, yes, it's a... So it's like from Fujian. That sounds terrible. Thank you for <laughs> the explanation. That, in case anybody <laughs> didn't hear that, because curd is not mic'd up anymore. F uh, red bean curd is a fermented... It's called fermented, fu <laughs> fermented red yeast. Yeah. Fu But this doesn't... And um, it, is a, it is a fermented red bean curd. Uh, so it's supposed to taste quite... Um <laughs> this doesn't taste like it. Okay, it doesn't taste like it, um, but it yeah. does taste quite umami, um, which is probably more from an additive than um, the natural yes yes fermentation of it. Um, egg yolk is uh, the other thing. The ingredient says that it's sweet, actually a red fermented bean curd strange. powder. Oh yeah, I mean, I okay, so you're from Singapore and <laughs> <laughs> from the land where they've made chips with this flavor, so it's like really. I'm popular. not. I'm not sure I can really do that. Um, 
I will have to, I mean, I'm not trying to be perverse, but I will have to say that this is probably my least favorite. Okay, I fine. actually prefer the fermented red bean curd. Okay. Honestly. Okay. I'm going to double, triple dip in this one. Okay. <laughs> Lemon aioli. Oh! That was quite nice, actually. Yeah, I mean <laughs> I think it's also very telling that you're not having any of the sauces. Nope. <laughs> I think the lemon aioli is quite actually. good, actually. Yeah. Um, it's very grown up. Does that make sense? Like, it's a very grown up taste. It is taste. very grown up. Yeah. It's very like, mm -hmm. yeah. It's very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's sour <laughs> That's first. That's us. Being it's sophisticated. <laughs> it's yes. sour first and then garlicky later. That's right. It's kind of herby. Mm. Depending on where you're from, you may or may not pronounce the H in front of that mm -hmm. word. Okay. <laughs> Mmm, honey mustard is good too. Anyways, okay. I just love okay, how... Okay, we have to um, stop <laughs> talking about this because, yeah. more importantly, I want to spend more time talking about... Marvel, they finally cast the actor who will play Shang-Chi. Mm -hmm. um, it's Simu Liu right. of Kim Convenience fame. Ah, if you don't know who Shang-Chi like, Shang is, he's I have the... Um, so, yeah. this is... Uh, Marvel's new, well, not new, but you know, the one upcoming the, movie. Yeah. yeah, I think in one the Phase Four. So mm -hmm. called Phase Four. So he's a he's a Chinese superhero. Um, mm -hmm. This is inspired by Bruce Lee. Inspired by Bruce Lee, yeah. but has a very um, strange and kind of racist um, background in the comics because he's right. like. He's Originally, he's the son of Fu Manchu, mm -hmm. um, but then after Marvel uh, couldn't obtain the rights for Fu Manchu, they decided to just write him as the son of um, this character called the Mandarin. Um, Can you guys see that? And then he rebels against his father. But yeah, that's Simu Liu. Simu Liu. Um, okay, wait, I have a better one. Yeah, and I that's have a better one. <laughs> okay, this is him in Kim's Convenience. Pictures of, like, these visual references. Yeah, so in Kim's Convenience. He plays uh, the estranged son uh, in a Korean Canadian family. Yes, uh, everyone's super show. excited about him. Yeah, but because before, well, before he was an at, um, before he was this. Yeah. What? He's super hot. Um, the the boys in our team actually don't think he's so hot, uh, but I think they're, they're just, just jealous. jealous. <laughs> they're also eating all the McNuggets, so they will never look like this. Yeah. Um, before that. He was also a stock model. <laughs> uh, this, this I just found out yesterday because uh, Gavin was telling me about it. And I had to print out these big stock images of oh him. Because yeah. he's mentioned on Twitter before that before he was acting, Pow. he was Amazing. a to giving a presentation. This one is where he was intern <laughs> with friends or something like that. Yeah. This one is also an intern. <laughs> Oh, nice. He's in a suit now, so he's an accountant now. <laughs> um, but you were telling me that the irony is that he used to be an accountant in well, real life. Well, he was a terrible one. Um, he actually mentions in, an in a previous interview that he was actually really bad at the job. He started off working at Deloitte, but then like left after a year because uh, he just wasn't into it. <laughs> and found a part as an extra in Pacific Rim. And uh, yeah, and that's where he is now. <laughs> well, good on him, and I'm I'm super happy that he's I'm super happy that he's found success. Um, also, and and that his legacy lives on on Getty Images. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was gonna say before we move to this segment, I was gonna say, spe speaking of snacks. Oh my god! But then I knew you would do that, so. So over the weekend, two of our team members, yeah. Nick and J.K., went up to Guangzhou to ski. Well, seriously, um, it's indoor skiing because it's summer and Guangzhou is crazy hot right now. Uh, we want to roll a clip of how they did. So you got to tell us about going to Guangzhou, you got to tell us about the whole trip. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, first we start off at night. We went from Hong Kong to Guangzhou. The train ride is like an hour, I think. Right, right. Yeah, and then, uh, but as you got to Guangzhou, uh, the train ride, uh, we still have to take a taxi. 
from the station to the place for an hour. So that was quite far away. But anyway, we got there and uh, we saw this super big uh, complex that looks like a fridge, right? <laughs> And um, and then we just we just went in and uh, we got our gears and um, it was pretty quick. The whole process was pre was pretty quick. Did you? I mean, was it? I mean, was it massive? I mean, did it look like oh man, big huge. slopes and? Yeah, it's huge. That's definitely the biggest fridge I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, what did they rent out? I mean, what was the facilities like? Did they, did they rent stuff out and? Um uh, I think it's since the whole thing is pretty new, <coughs> uh, everything is uh, nice and neat and clean. Uh, you can rent everything from from like a jacket to to pants to even. Uh, do they rent goggles? They don't, right? They don't rent uh, goggles. You don't really need the goggles, and they don't rent. Uh, they don't rent gloves either. So. It, oh. Yeah, what if you forget? You don't because there's no wind, and so that oh. you don't really need. Oh. Well, that's no a weird. Like but that's a weird. Sound. So that's a weird experience, right? Because, um, I mean, it's like it's cold and everything, and then you don't actually. Yeah. 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 Um, it's really weird, actually, because like I, this is our first time uh, s uh, snowboarding in an uh, indoor place. Uh, we're used to like really nice mountains and like <laughs> sceneries and all that. So the whole time it feels but like. But like there's no sky, right? There's no sky. <laughs> there's, a, there's like a painting. Yeah. yeah. Everything's like super artificial. You can see they painted the ceiling blue color mm -hmm. and they painted uh, like huge snow peaks on the wall. So it makes you feel like in the, in the, in the real like natural environment, but yeah. actually not. Even the air is super artificial. Yeah. So I feel pretty weird. Yeah. Skin there. Uh, they Definitely have something that, that they could improve on, like the air um, and also the gondola, because like, it's super not user friendly. Me and my friend keep bumping our head trying to fit our snowboard in that tiny gondola. <laughs> but uh, apart from that, uh, we had a pretty good time snowboarding, uh, skiing for JK. How is it skiing and recording? Um, so I'm actually an adventure photographer based in Montana. So I ski almost every weekend in the season. And we have super good powder uh, every year almost. So I, I was actually kind of excited before I went. Uh, but I also, I didn't, meanwhile, I didn't expect that much because, you know, it's indoor. I would never, I had never imagined that I would ski indoor one day. Uh, uh, but actually, it's a little bit better than what I expected because they keep the floor, uh, they keep the base 45 centimeters uh, with this fresh snow. Oh, so it's right. like 20 inches. So it's not like you are just skiing on a very thin layer of snow. It's so just mental. It just sounds like such a, such a huge operation to keep up. Mm -hmm. um, how did you get there? Like, was it difficult getting to the facility? I think <coughs> Will, uh, Will asked if you guys went there by bullet train. You did, right? You yeah, went there by we high did. speed rail. Um, but then, how do you get to the facility? Uh, the high-speed rail gets to Guangzhou Nan Station, uh, Guangzhou South, South Station, and then you have to take, um, I think, one and a half hour cab ride from mm -hmm. the station to the place. Mm -hmm. uh, I recommend just uh, getting a cab because I, I, I can't imagine taking out a transit there. It's, yeah. it's a little bit too hectic for us. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or you can take, uh, you can transfer to. Guangzhou North from Guangzhou South. That mm. would be way faster. It's like 20 minutes, right? Mm. Yeah, and uh, after you arrive at Guangzhou North, you just need to take like 10 minutes cab to the ski place. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, there's more of that video that's coming up. Uh, so stay tuned for that uh, down the road. And now our street eaters went to try some tasty snacks, and they're going to try it in the studio right after this. So check it out. I'm rolling. Okay. Okay, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> one, two. Hey guys, it's Street Eaters here. Uh, today we're bringing Young Joel to try out some nice Hong Kong food. Thanks guys. I think it's not for lunch no again. No problem. Thank yeah. you. Um, where, where are we today? What is this old school mall place, yeah. right? What is this? We are in uh, the Shaiwan Hall Station. Okay. Yeah. One of the building called Tai On Lao. Mm -hmm. yeah. They sell like weird stuff here. They sell electronics, they sell bras, and a lot of nice snacks. So uh, let's check it out. Okay, Yo. awesome. Right. Six. Six. Thanks guys for taking me out for yeah. lunch again. Yeah, Who's style. picking up the bill this time around? Uh, Actually, Daisy's I think I forgot to get cash out. So oh, yeah. Ray, you've got this one. Smart. <laughs> 
So uh, this is a traditional place where a lot of uh, Hong Kong kids, they grew up here buying snacks. It's indoor, we got nice air conditioning, yeah. but then at the same time we get to eat street foods. And you don't, there's not too many of these around? Like I've never been to something like this. Yeah. So uh, what, what, are you, what are you looking forward to this time? Who knows with you guys? I haven't eaten breakfast, so I'm, I'm going on an empty <laughs> stomach, so be kind. Okay. I think Ray got some nice suggestion for us. Yeah, what you, um, what's, what's on the menu? The first one we try is called Sao Zhao Ban. Yeah, it's from Taiwan. And then... So the literal <laughs> translation is hand graph. Hand graph, like okay. pancake. Yeah, yeah, yeah something like that. Actually, there's so many like combination. You can see, okay, you can see wow. 26 combination. Whoa. Like cheese, ham. Let's get one okay. then. Yeah. yeah, what do you, what, so what do you think? Any, any favor? Support. Oh, the boss is said number 10 is the most famous. This is his, yeah. okay. We have cheese. cheese, scallop, bacon. You have to support him. Like Hong Kong and Taiwan is like very big fans of cheese. You guys think so? Like yeah. everything makes That's cheese. Is, yeah, I suppose it melts quite well and holds oh, things man. together. I guess melt the bacon. The bacon. And what else are we getting? Scallop. Scallop, yeah. Scallops as well. Mm -hmm. Actually, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You see that? Like dice. Yeah. Hold on, guy. What is that? Uh, just like uh, mayonnaise or salad sauce. Okay. Mayonnaise. Ah, oh, yes. I'm just gonna bump that it's not actual scallop, but that's okay. <laughs> style. <laughs> Smart. Smart. <laughs> Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, then let's go. Chen. All right. So what is this raid? Yeah, this one like is like oyster pancake. Did you try? No, I've never had this. God. Are you from Hobart? Ah oh, yeah. Ooh. Fry it up. Oily oyster goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, I'm glad we only ordered one. It's quite it's quite big. Yeah. yeah. Usually it's a sit and eat dish. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh my, that's kind of amazing. I don't know about the health benefits. But <laughs> it looks pretty good. <laughs> Oh, oh, trust wow. me. This is, this is good. Oh, guys, hi. Guys, wow. wow. This looks good. Looking good. You got wow. some pepper wow. on it. It literally looks like Australian fish and chips. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> this Hong is the Hong Kong fish and chips. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. All right, let's bring Joel to the last place. Yeah, okay. okay. Do you want me to hold? Yeah. Are you good? Mm, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, rate her. <laughs> okay, yeah, because this one. Because this one is called the the, the tiger pattern milk tea. Okay. The reason why is the sugar. The sugar. The sugar. It has like almost yeah. like the tiger stripe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is this a Hong Kong thing? Oh, it's a Taiwan thing. Taiwan. But then you know Taiwan and Hong Kong are friends. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now for the grand finale. A surprise for Joel. Really nice, really nice. Really nice. Um, <laughs> I mean, it, it looks impressive. What yeah. is that? That's crazy, right? It's crazy. Wow. Oh. Why? Why is such a big... Why is that a big <laughs> Is that hot? Is it hot? Is that hot? Know. Okay. What should we get for Joel? What, what, what uh, have we got here? Can, we, can, like, we, can we talk about what yeah. is actually there? <laughs> so uh, I think this is duck. Some sort of, yeah, okay. This is cow stomach. This is pig stomach. Yeah, wow. Very different stomach. Even tripe, I just never like the look of. Oh. What about oh, this? This is like some pig something? Pig's ears. Ears? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for this? Okay. Ready? What are you ready? <laughs> duck. Duck's good. Duck's okay, good. Guys, it's duck. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. this oh. Is oh. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, man. I'm not sure what's coming out of that. That's the last time this full on. This is up, up the game here. I think we'll be taking some lunch back for Hanley. I mean, look, it looks impressive. If you probably didn't tell me what any of it was and I was blindfolded, yeah. I mean, maybe. Live stream, <laughs> Maybe we should do that. 
Lunch is served. Let's do this, boys. Do you have like in Cantonese like a bon appetit? Bon appetit of Hong meal. Kong version is sakfa. Yeah. Sakfa. <laughs> <laughs> which which li literal translation is eat rice? Eat rice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we kind of left yeah, that off the menu rice. today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, okay. All right. So what are we Sikhan. starting? Sikhan. What, Sikhan. what are we starting on? Oysters. Oh, uh, oysters. I'm helpful. This is too big. No, no. You look. You got a big mouth, Nick. Can you, can you, can you? <laughs> you should like, grab a piece what? too. Mm, this is good. No? Oh, yeah. that, like, um, that salt they add as well? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, the, that's the tea there. It's like salty and goodness. I thought that yeah. was pepper. But maybe it's it was, like, it was I don't know, it's kind of salty. Yeah. This, this would be a really good drunk food. <laughs> I think next street eats we'll do in the evening. After, after, work. after work hours. <laughs> Friday. All right, you want to try it? Should we uh, pancake or pancake, should we? Let's do a pancake. Okay, let's go to the... Good mm. bite. Mm. Just so stuff. many like different flavors, texture in one in one mm. mouth. This would be good like on the way to work or something. Breakfast food, almost I could see. Yeah, it works pretty well as a breakfast. Yeah, and it's like this classic like seafood sauce or something. Yeah, that's some bacon in it. Right? It's a cheese. That's some good grab and go no. snack food. Also, good drunk food. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> we would go quite well with no. beer as well. Alright, so right, no, this, okay. is, this is crazy. This is, this is like <laughs> every piece of the animal <laughs> in one polystyrene box. He Ray loves it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's dig in and just grab whatever. Well, it's a deep dive in this oh, stuff. Oh, this one is pork, right? Uh, pig stomach, I think. Mm. What about this? What you, is love, this? you love the stomach, Ray. What is mm -hmm. this? Is it also pork from it? Mm, it's duck, I think. It's duck. duck. Really? It's duck? I'm, I'm just gonna try the duck now. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's duck. Woo! <laughs> 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 the pig's intact. Yeah. in there. Is it warm? They can do it. Remember the last time the orange one? How's it? How's, how's it? What's the difference? That's pretty good. Well? I'm yeah. going again. Wow. wow. You, you love this one or it's good. the previous one? Fire Actually, one like, or, that's or better or than the duck. <laughs> I just want Joel to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, you mm. Wow, guys, so full. That was good. That was, yeah. that was good. Surprisingly yeah. better than I thought, Ray. Thank yeah. you so much. So that oyster the fried. You, oh, man. Yeah. Um, that, that was great. I With the beer, the would it be awesome? I love the scallop. Um, the scallop, the side of the scallop is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> With bacon. In a sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, for me the, the stomach is, is so good for me, yeah. You know, he loves so that stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ray loves that stuff. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm getting the next bill as well because I think you guys have picked me up the tab every time, so uh, it's on me, I'm looking like a mad tight ass at the moment. Um, <laughs> until next time, we better get back to yeah. the office. Yeah? Um, Let's do it. Say and here are Hanley and Joel who have decided to face off in tasting these because Cause well, you challenged. Got, cause you challenged each other. <laughs> oh, challenged. I think I challenged you. Yeah, like, that's literally know. how this segment got started. So they're going to do it blind to see if they can name them all. <laughs> wow, thank you. They're nice, yes. right? Yeah, they, they are. It's going to um, get weird. Okay, when you got those on, I'm going to get the... Are we doing this now? You're going to do it now. Oh get those blindfolds God. on. <laughs> this is some, this is some weird. By the way, Joel, how was uh, how was the experience going? Can to I do this really without the blindfold? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> stop looking at it. Um, you, how was your experience? Yeah, it's it's always fun. I love um, th I love the little street eats. Um, the boys uh, look after me. We always get to go to somewhere new in Hong Kong. I've sort of never been. You smell that? I can, can smell, smell it already. It? <laughs> it's here. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, how was this? How was this different from the last time you went? By the way. Uh. I mean, this was just, I mean, it was a sort of this old kind of arcade mall. So there were heaps of different little eateries in there. Mm -hmm. um, it was a little bit different from the last time you did the street eat. Yeah, we had, there was just some more choice, really. Uh, okay. And the boys were always good like that. Oh Ray, yeah. Ray's fearless. A big one. Food with critic. His, with his eating food cricket. Food cricket. <laughs> yeah. Food critic. You Look know out the next time Bourdain. we're just going to make you eat crickets. But and <laughs> and um, Nick, he's a bit of an orderer, but he, uh, he kind of shirks shirks off when the uh, eating gets tough. Yeah, he, he, he makes you eat it. <laughs> 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 okay, 
Um, I picked this out is a some small weird. piece. This must be some weird I picked vibe. out a small piece for, for Joel. It's a skewer. It's okay, a skewer. Okay, good. And I picked out a bigger piece for Henley. I'm not the best on chopsticks and then make me do a blindfold. That would have been interesting. <laughs> 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 okay. Please identify <laughs> what this might be. Oh, God. All right. Have you got it in your mouth yet, Henley? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even find my mouth. <laughs> don't don't skewer yourselves. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> give wow. me the skewer. I don't know about that. Henley, give me the skewer. Thank oh. you. Are we, are we meant to identify now? Yes, identify. Are these? Do I get any questions? Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Henley knows what this is. <laughs> is it the in? Are we we're all in innards, right? They're like all innards. entrails. Yeah, they're all entrails. Um, I'm gonna go for the. Uh, I don't know. Is it liver? Is it an intestine? So zero for Joel and yeah, it's intestines. I think. <laughs> I think. I think. <laughs> yeah, he's right. He's right. He's right. All right. Of the cow. Of the cow. Of okay. the cow. What if I said it was something else? <laughs> Actually, I can't even, right. I can't tell the difference between the do, 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 pig and the cow intestine. I'm picking small pieces for you, okay? Mm, that's very kind of you. I, I mean, but I've you could I've got a bottle of water somewhere. <laughs> 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 in case I need to wash this down. I think Henley's fine, so I'm going to pick Henley a bigger piece. Because he's eating all the McNuggets, yeah, so he's very hungry. <laughs> okay, I think Clarissa right ate here. way more than I did. All right. <laughs> this one... Um, Okay. Have you eaten it, Hanley? Yep. <laughs> okay, ready? <gasps> Go. Whoa. You got this, Joel. Mm, I'm not sure about that texture. <laughs> this is the lung. No. I'm going to give you... No! I really can't tell the difference between... I'm going to give you your water. This is the stomach. It's here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you describe the, the texture, please? That's a lot more sort of... Uh, I don't know, like more gristly, kind of chewy. I don't know. It's there's nothing uh, crispy about it. <laughs> Someone just snatch my skewer. It's me. It was me. I'm snatching all Do you the skewers. From you. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> um, really, you didn't like the stomach? More than the I don't know. How long ago did we deliver this, and then it's been sitting on? Oh yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's of, not true. It's we've kind of got cold. We've just re-steamed it. Kind of got a bit we've cold. Just <laughs> just <laughs> we've just <laughs> we've just I don't know. Like we've just re-steamed it. Cold entrails. <laughs> we try our best. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think work insurance uh, protects you guys against food poisoning. <laughs> That was nice though. Usually the stomach, like, feel like it's like the. Um, I've just split a piece of. Is that your favorite ham? Thing for no, you? No, it's not my favorite yet. But um. Uh, yet. Yep. Actually, I don't know what your favorite is. So here's the next thing. Um, look, I'm trying to look. I'm trying to go up in like difficulty in terms of texture, or mm -hmm. um, so I, yeah. I hope that this, this and the next one, I'm, I'm actually not sure. If, if um, I might like gag. And I'm not sure which one you, you <laughs> might find like more I offensive. Feel like, I feel like one of them um, really not gonna like it a lot. I was just <laughs> briefed on what this is, so I hope I'm right. Oh. All right. I hope I'm right. <laughs> I was just briefed, so. Yes. Um, Joel. It's not chicken balls, I've had them before. Um. Why would you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Um. Mm. Tell me about the texture first. Uh, that one's a bit more slimy and, and soft, but it doesn't have that like uh, fatty, gristly kind of bit. Does it's it? Does it have like um? This one feels more like a like a fish ball, right? But it's the uh, oh. the lung. Yeah, it is the lung. The lung. Oh. Hey. There you go. One Not point. Bad. One point for the Joel. Lung. Only because yeah. Hanley, we were talking about this earlier, and <laughs> the lung. How did you describe it? Okay. Kind of like, like a fish ball, but it's with cow. I've got the last one for you, like cow. and like in general, <laughs> <laughs> kind of hurts I'm gonna your head. try and make the smallest <laughs> piece for you possible. Okay, getting, wrapping your head around that. Cause I don't like. <laughs> I can't cut it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's got a weird <laughs> texture. Ooh. I can't cut it. This one's rough. I hated it when I was a kid. Okay, so this is not happening. You are going to have to just take a bite. Because oh I can't. I'm not pass it on. I can't. <laughs> I can't take um, a bite and pass it on. <laughs> I can't. I can't cut it because it's too spongy. I'm glad I wore a black T-shirt. Um, mm, yeah. Okay. I'm apologize for the massive pieces. I actually have a feeling Henley will just eat the whole thing. Um, <laughs> so go wide. You say like um, open wide. <laughs> I hate 
the chicken version of this, so I don't know if this is just gonna <coughs> be worse. <laughs> so um, it, it actually all kind of. I know they sort of looked the same the other day when we had them. They all kind of come out this sort of they brown color. There's um, not any like. Yeah, I mean, what are you expecting? <laughs> 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 so yes, yeah, so I hate the, the chicken version of this. So I really hope that the cow version is not. How was it, Hanley? As uh, offensive. That's the that's the my least favorite part of the cow. Oh, I'm sorry. You have okay. you had a massive piece. I you know. ate the whole thing. I told you to take a bite. I, I had it before, mm. so I know. I know. You know, sometimes like. Mm. Take a bite. Yeah. It starts well, and there's a lot of chewing. Mm. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, that was a real, oh god. Okay, identify wow. and you can take your blindfolds off. <laughs> um, I'm crying under here. <laughs> Joe, you know what, what what's that? <laughs> I, the, that's an aftertaste, um, right? There's, there's usually yeah. an aftertaste. Is that, is that uh, the liver? Yeah. I don't mind a bit of like, <laughs> is it, is that it? it's just big. <laughs> Do you call it liver or is it Okay, that the remove your blindfold to right. have a look at what you just ate. Oh, God. But guess what? Wait. No, bone. What do you think it is? He said liver. I said oh, liver. Oh, he said liver already. Is it? Yeah. It has that. It has that, oh, that aftertaste, right? Look, I was trying to I was trying to split it for you, but I couldn't. It yeah. was completely unsplittable. It was okay to begin with. I'm like, I can do this, but it's just a big, <laughs> be like, what chewy piece. About the cow? Yeah, I should have given you guys the radish and been like, which oh, part of the radish. cow is that? <laughs> Quite a carrot. It's okay. In Chinese, it's like lo right? Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty much carrot. <laughs> They're True. friends. This is just True. a very overgrown white carrot. True. I think it's the aftertaste. And then it stays with you for, Yo, with you for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> stays with you for an hour after you can't get the idea out of your mind. <laughs> Lunch. We. Our boy is pretty. I. I'll. I'll buy. I. I'm. I'm. Lunch. Lunch. So I'm gonna leave. Oh, I'm gonna leave the boys to get over uh, <laughs> this experience. Um, this. For, we're always sorry. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just so amused. Um, for everybody else. Uh, thank you so much for being with us this <laughs> week, as as you are every week. Um, please click through to other Gold Thread videos to watch more. We have tons of content every week, and as I say, we always look forward to your comments, nice or nasty. Uh, we're going to see you in two weeks' time, so leave us a note and see you soon. Bye. You've been watching The Gold Thread Show. Make sure to join us for our next episode, August 6th, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for coming and see you then.